So, now we know this is the velocity according to the Newton velocity in the gases P atmospheric can be written here 0.76 meter of H g column. So, we can write atmospheric pressure is equal to 0.76 into 13.6 into 10 raised to power 3 that is the density of mercury and into 9.8 Newton per meter square. And our density of air can be written here that is 1.293 kg per meter cube. If you put all these values in this, you will be getting V is equal to 0.76 into 13.6 into 10 raised to power 3 into 9.8 divided by 1.293 meter per second you will be getting this one is coming around 280 meter per second. So, according to Newton assumptions velocity of the sound in air was calculated 280 meter per second, but the experimental value of the velocity of sound in air at NTP that is normal temperature and pressure is coming here that is 332 meter per second. So, see here Newton calculated 280 meter per second, whereas experimental value of the velocity of sound the speed of sound in air is 332 meter per second. So, there is error in this calculation. It means Newton's assumption was not correct. So, Newton's assumption was not correct. So, there was a lot of error in the calculation of the speed. So, this correction was done by the scientist that is called here Laplace correction. So, now let us discuss Laplace correction. See here, we have seen the mistake in Newton's formula and we have seen how much mistake was there, how much uh, error was in the calculation of the speed of sound according to Newton's assumption. Now, Laplace made correction in that assumption. According to Laplace, when the sound travels through air, the changes in the medium are adiabatic. These are not isothermal, which was assumed by Newton. So, when the changes are iso adiabatic, it means the changes in the pressure and volume are taking so fast. So, there is no time to exchange the heat between the system and the surroundings. It means these changes are adiabatic. So, according to the adiabatic relation, we can write here speed of sound in air is B adiabatic here divided by density. And for adiabatic relation, we know here P V raised to power gamma is equal to constant, where gamma is equal to C P upon C V and for air it is given 1.4941. Now, P V raised to power gamma is constant, differentiated both the side, we will be getting here P gamma V raised to power gamma minus 1 d V plus V raised to power gamma d P is equal to 0, this is constant. So, we can write here P gamma V raised to power gamma minus 1 d V is equal to minus V raised to power gamma d P and we can write here P gamma is equal to minus V raised to power gamma d P divided by V raised to power gamma minus 1 and into here d V. So, now when we solve this thing is here we will be getting minus V raised to power gamma minus gamma plus 1 d p upon d v. This, this will get cancelled and you will be getting here minus v d p upon d v and that is equal to bulk modulus here in adiabatic process. So, B a. So, B a we have got is equal to p raised to power gamma. So, now in this case the formula will become here when you are writing p raised to power gamma in place of b a. So, we can write this relation here p gamma divided by rho. Here p is atmospheric pressure and gamma already we have got that is 1.41. So, already we have calculated P atmospheric upon rho into under root of gamma 
that is under root of 280 into under root of 1.41 and this is coming here exactly around 332 meter per second. So, when the speed of sound was calculated by using Laplace assumption and the speed of the sound came here which is nearly equal to the experimental value of the speed of sound in air.